Welcome to September. Here's your psychic tarot reading for the month. This month, this is what we will go over. We will cover your current self, the month's theme, you at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the key goal to achieve, how to do it, obstacles to overcome, how to do it, good news, what to avoid, your spirituality modality of focus this month to help you get through it. And then I wanted to let you know that um, when I polled people on Instagram and on Facebook, they all said what they really wanted to focus on this month was money and career. So I will be putting that in a separate set of videos for you this month um, to this YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification so that when those come out, you are immediately aware and alerted in case you like these. I would also appreciate it if you would share these videos with people that you think would find helpful um, because otherwise, how are they gonna find them, right? And here's something new that we're doing this month. If you are to go ahead and share this video on Facebook or Instagram, please go ahead and tag me because this month I'm giving away a zodiac sign necklace, which obviously it would be the one. If you're a Pisces, that'd be the one that you want to share, right? In this picture, this is an example of the different Pisces necklaces that would be going out, but I have them for every single sign. Um, those would be shipped out halfway through the month, so make sure that you tag me in it. Um, because if you don't, I can't see the post, and then I can't DM you for your shipping address. So I'll be giving away one for each one of these signs. Uh, let's get started. Hey Taurus, welcome to September. What's up for you this month? Current self, new ideas about money, finances, purchases, those earthly kind of things. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch your career and money video. Don't forget to do that. There's a link at the end. Um, your month's theme is all about individuality. This seems to be a theme for many of the signs. Um, and so I've been using the same analogy, but essentially it's like Weird Al ain't shit if he ain't weird, right? So understanding what is special, unique, different about us, even if those are insecurities that we have, because that's what actually where success and um, wonderful things flow from, right? He never would have made the money that he made, had the popularity and love and adoration of everyone else if he wasn't authentically him, right? He'd just be Al with an ugly hairdo. I mean, really? Okay. Well, actually, he probably wouldn't even have that long, curly hair because, you know, he'd be conforming. He'd just be a basic bitch Al. Okay, anyway. At the beginning of the month, you're feeling kind of pain, you're feeling like things are unlucky, like when can I get a good break? But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I know, um, kind of a cliche, but they're saying in the middle of the month you get your mojo back, you're feeling more confident. Um, but with this slight little sentiment of fear that history will repeat itself, it only repeats itself if we continue to make the same decisions, right? And only if we believe that history is going to repeat itself. It doesn't have to, right? Things that occurred before might not occur now or in the future. I might um, ask someone, someone new that I meet if they want to hang out, right? If they want to, um, you know, go have a lunch date, trying to make a new friend. And they're like, oh, I'm really too busy or, oh, I'm not really in the mood to make new friends, whatever. But when you ask somebody else, they may be like, oh my gosh, yes, that'd be awesome. I just moved here and it's fucking hard to make friends. It could be anything like that. So um, that's kind of where I'm going here. History doesn't always repeat itself. It doesn't have to. So just believing that that's the case is going to make a huge difference for you. So really embrace that confidence when you have it. At the end of the month, they're saying we might be lying to ourselves a little bit about um, these sort of insights where we started with the current self, thinking about money, possessions, job, home, moving. So in which ways are we lying to ourselves? And they say you already know. And I think the reason why sometimes they say that is because in a general reading, it's so broad for all of the Tauruses. Um, and so this might be a little bit different for each of you. One of you might be thinking about moving, the other one about trading their car and getting a different one, another one about, you know, um, changing career paths or something like that. But essentially the vibe is the same you already know. So your key goal to achieve for the month, they're saying is 
think about where we're lying to ourselves in regards to possessions, work, money, home, that sort of energy, that sort of vibe, and then get really focused on thinking about how we don't actually have to do everything alone. There is support, there is help around us, either in the form of a program, in the form of friends, family members, um, even our spirit guides, angels, your tarot reader, right? Um, so, I wonder why this is such a sticking point. And they say all of you are going to know on an individual level intuitively why and what this is. And they say that if, um, let's say when you first watch this video, you're like, this makes no fucking sense. Um, come back and watch it in a week or two, and you're going to be like, oh shit, that just happened and now I get it. Okay? Obstacles that you need to overcome this month, and they're saying um, not reaching out to others. Um, not wanting to maybe ask for assistance when it's there and people are going to want to help you. Um, I mean, I, I totally understand this. Like, I might not want to ask a family member for help because I don't want them to ask a lot of questions as to my personal business, right? But if I ask, they might not ask too many questions. They might not have that expectation. I can just say it's private, but they're happy to help me because they love me, right? And so they're saying, if you don't ask, you don't receive. And this is in the workplace. This is in our relationships. Um, this is in form of our own internal struggles. If we don't ask God, the universe, whatever, for help, how are we going to get it? And actually, sidebar, angels have a car. Um, everybody has two of them with them at all times minimum, okay? And then different ones kind of come in for the assist. So if... Um, we don't ask them for help, they tend not to interfere because we have free will and that would fuck up the concept of free will, right? Um, but they will help you if you ask for it. So good news for the month because that does sound slightly ominous, not horrible, but slightly. Um, good news for the month is they're like, you know, even if you're not at the maximum capacity of confidence or whatever, this can change, this can end if we kind of stop lying to ourselves about our preconceived fears and notions that the past is going to equal the present and the future, that things don't change. So it's good news to know that we can be on top of our game if we just change that mindset a little bit. What should we be avoiding this month? And they're saying contracts, overcommitment. Um, you know, so this would be like, anything from signing a contract for a new loan um, to for a new house. Um, this could be like super committing to a relationship, allowing somebody to move in with you. Anything that feels um, like you'd maybe be stuck in it, that there's this giant commitment. It could be a gym membership. It could be um, being part of a motivational online group for dieting or something like that where you'd feel obligated to stay in it if you fall off and then like lying to them and to yourself and you know and that would make you feel really shitty so try not to overcommit this month your spirituality modality of focus for the month to help you kind of get through this like if you need to reset your energy how do you do that and they say you can actually use a pendulum to help you out i do have a video in um one of the playlists on my channel that tells you how to use the pendulum. But it's like, um, you know, should I focus on this? No. Should I focus on this? Yes. Does this seem accurate? No. Does this seem ac it's like an accurate way to view things? Yes. Okay. Um, so I love you so much. Best of luck. And um, don't forget to watch that career and money video because I think that's going to be um, – it's going to correlate a lot just because we're talking a lot about money and earth energies and contracts and stuff like that, okay? Love you. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.